Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dubbed Out coming at you guys with another video and today we are going to be discussing the possible absence of power in this upcoming zombie season. The point of this video is going to be to talk about why this is possibly happening, the goods and the bads of this happening, and seeing how you guys see feel about the possible change by leaving a comment down below. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, boys, let's go on and get right into it. So to start off, yes, I do know that there's power and blood of the dead and classified, but obviously our two chaos storyline maps, Nine and Voyage of Despair, both do not have power switches. When you get into the game, all the perks are already available for you to buy and all the traps are ready to use, as well as the Pack-a-Punch doesn't even require power as there isn't even a power in the first place. From what we have seen so far, the Black Ops Pass will include four Chaos storyline maps, and in my eyes, it seems that none of them will have power just based off of how these first two maps work. I feel like if they were going to have maps with and without power that we'd probably have one of these first two maps with the power switch. Looking on the Ether storyline, Power was basically the first goal that you have in mind, and some maps like the Ryzendrak and Garag Krobi, it was as simple as hitting a switch. And in other maps like Shadows of Evil and Zetsubo no Shima, the power quests were a little bit more far out there. To me, the absence of power in every map is an absence of a goal, such as to craft the Wonder Weapon or to activate Pack-a-Punch, and personally I enjoyed the tougher power quests as it adds death to a map. But in turn, I could see this as them saying, hey guys, for this storyline, we're just going to scratch out the power as it may seem like a pointless hassle for those new players that we are trying to get into the game as well as the hardcore players won't mind because, well, for the same reason, it's just a pointless hassle. So basically, whether you see it as a good or a bad thing, there's going to be one less objective on the map. Another key factor that I notice is for the Chaos maps, even with the two that we have, one of them has a significant difference for starting room challenge. In the Chaos Starting Room Challenges, if there is a perk machine in that area, you will be able to go in with any perk that you want with the new perk system, which could prove for some very interesting and high round strategies, but also eliminates no power as a challenge overall, even though I don't think that it was a very popular challenge. Power has been with us since DLC 1 of World at War, which was the release of Erupt. If Black Ops 4 is really the transfer from Aether to Chaos, and we've already let go of three key perks which also released with DLC 1 of World at War, it is quite possible that we do not see a power switch in the future of Black Ops 4 Zombies as it relates to the Chaos storyline. I'm sure that any Aether maps that do come out will probably have power as, you know, that's just how it seems like it's going to be. So I know again this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it's definitely a change that I believe has been overlooked. And let me know down in the comments below how you feel about that. If you think that we're being robbed of quest in the maps, or if you're glad that you don't have to spend time hitting a power switch or doing a quest for it when you could be out there slaying zombies and getting perks. Either way, I do hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that I am pointing something out to you guys that you may not have noticed already. Be sure to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel, and I do hope that you guys have a good day. Peace out, dudes.